Well, hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is a treat, okay? For those of y'all who are long-term Jaybirds, y'all remember, I used to always review catfish, okay? Because I was like, these foods got to be crazy. And I stopped reviewing it, but I'm trying to get back into reviewing all kind of stuff because it's foolishness, okay? And y'all here for my foolishness. It ain't nothing wrong with a quick little recap of the catfish of the season eight. Now, this is catfish season eight, and this see, this is episode 73. I'm going to assume they just stopped starting over because 73, episode 73, maybe my DVR had the wrong episode because it's only 52 weeks in a year. Okay, so I don't know how many years season eight has lasted, but girl, I was like, episode girl, I mean, it'd be anyway. But y'all know, okay, we're going to get into the cat of the fish, okay? This is the story of Malcolm and Missy, a love and money and prison like a mystery. I was like, this took all kind of twists and turns the whole time from beginning to end or whatnot. Okay, well, y'all know first thing first, please make sure that you have what? Subscribe to my channel to become a whole Jaybird, Jaybird, dot, 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 and dot. Okay, do not forget to also, okay, like the video. Because liking the video helps you to do what? Share us with the world, okay? Do not forget to also follow me on social media at Jaylee's Corner on IG, also on Twitter. And please, by all means, again, subscribe, like, okay, share. And then you know to comment in the comment section, okay? Now, look, it's late. It's 2.44 in the morning. But guess what, y'all? I'm here. Hi, okay? Anyway, so. The story, okay? Again, season eight, episode 73, MTV Catfish, season eight, Malcolm Missy, a love, money, and prison lockup mystery, oh boy. Okay? Oh boy. Now, I will say, I was a bit disappointed because, you know, I, look, I used to watch Catfish back in the day when it was me even Max. I remember the Catfish movie that started all this because me, you've got Catfish. Back in the day, okay, I liked it when they, you know, put uh, Cammy on when Max left and Cammy Crawford, okay, came on to be the host. So I thought I was coming back to Neve and Cammy. I was like, where's Cammy? Well, Cammy was around here, but not around here. She was shooting, um, um, what was it called? Uh, the show, what was it called? Oh, Argue the One. Cammy was out shooting Argue the One, another MTV show. So to, to, to stand in, for Cammy, me was around here with his wife. Okay, his wife was helping co host this episode. I don't have nothing against that man, wife. I just wanted my Cammy. I wanted my, I, look, I love Cammy Crawford. She is such a spunky, intellectual, sassy, tell it how it is, amazingly beautiful beauty queen. If she was actually missing, missing you, was the missing you and say, I've got one here. But we love Cammy. So I was like, oh, I miss Cammy. But she will be back. Anyway, me and his wife was Ryan hosting. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So this episode again, this is about Malcolm and Missy. Malcolm is a 30-year-old man. He lives in Augusta, Georgia, and he is a gas station manager. I said, okay. Do gas station managers get free gas? I mean, if I can get free gas, I will stand around all day and manage the gas station. Nah, they rob gas stations. I was feeling like gas. I don't like that or whatever. People is rude. So maybe not. I don't think free gas. But if my man worked there and I can get free gas from him, maybe so. Anyway, uh, Malcolm is 30 years old. You know, he met... Missy, who lives in Jackson, Georgia. So again, he lives in Augusta, Georgia, and Missy lives in Jackson, Georgia. Okay. Now they been, they met on Snapchat. Okay, Snapchat. Now y'all know how this thing go. In the beginning of the episode, Neve and whoever the co-host is reads the letter from said person think they're being catfish. And so this is what Malcolm is telling them went on. Again, I'm 30. I live in Georgia. I met Missy. She lives in Georgia. We've been on Snapchat. We bonded 
over trauma bonding because we both lost our moms or whatever, losing loved ones, we bonded, okay? He then said I had to move, but he said I had to leave Georgia and go to Florida. So me and her communication slowed down a whole bunch of whatever. I moved back to Georgia, and I feel like she playing me. She playing me, me, even whoever else is there, and I don't know why, okay? I mean, sometimes she answers, sometimes she don't. Sometimes she hears, sometimes she not. I never get what's going on. Sometimes, I just, is she playing me? Am I the one getting played? I don't understand What's going on? But I like Missy. I want to be with Missy. She the one for me. You're the one for me. Is what he felt. Okay. He also brings up, you know, they're, you know, kind of back talking up, whatever. And she recently asked him for some money. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you know, whenever somebody who you have not seen in person after talking for about two, three years, if they ask for money, it's a catfish. It's a trick. It's a scheme. It's a scam. Okay. Oh, she asked for some money and he said, I told her. You know, I couldn't give it to her. Okay. And she started acting funny again. She was upset. I would not give her money. Again, <laughs> when someone who you think is catfishing you, if they ask for money and you say no and they then start acting funny, that usually means they play you. It's a part of the scheme. Okay. So he's wondering what's going on. I still care about her. I want to be with her. I want to figure things out. Okay. I want to know. What can we do to be together? Not that I don't know, sir. I don't know. Okay. So, Neve and his wife, you know, I think her name was Laura. It was Laura. It may not be Laura. But they fly to Georgia, okay, to take this case because, you know, that doesn't do. Now, they get there. Malcolm lives in a motel. Yes. They pull up and it's like this is a this this is the address. It's a motel. Is it a hotel? Motel Holiday Inn. Yes, Malcolm lives in a motel hotel Holiday Inn. He's been living there for a month because he's waiting to get an apartment. I was like, but where did you live before? Did you get put out? Was you evicted? I, Anyway, they come in and sit on the motel, hotel, holiday inn beds, okay? I'm like, are they clean? Is it room service? Like, if you live in a hotel and have been living there for a month, do they come clean your room every day? Or is it once a week? Is room clean? I don't know. Anyway, they say, okay, so tell us what's going on, Malcolm. You know, this lady named Missy, who you like more. <laughs> what's going on? They are happy, you know, two white people thinking they finna help somebody find some black love. Well, Malcolm tells us his story, okay? Malcolm says, I was 17 years old. Okay, and I was 17 years old out here doing the wrong thing, and me and my friends ended up going to jail to prison. I was like, This went from a love story to love at the lockup. I was like, What the hell is going on here? Well, Malcolm says again, his friends are 17 years old or whatever, around here doing hood right thing with the hood right friends, ended up going to jail because they was around stealing and burglary. Okay, there was some burglars. I'm like, Y'all was breaking in people's houses or people's cars. Was y'all like robbing fucking guns? What, what? What? But as he said, you know, young and dumb with the wrong people, we run around here, boom, boom. I'm thinking that. But he said, we was running around here, you stealing, burglary. Okay. So the judge gave him, again, he was 17. He's 30 now. This was, this was 13 years ago. Okay. Um, the judge sentenced him to 10 years probation. Okay. 10 year probation for being around here burglaring and run and, and, and stealing and robbing. Okay. And a part of his 10 year probation was of course he can't leave the state without permission. Well, he left the state. Okay. He went to Florida out the blue because his mama was sick. His mama dad. Sorry to hear that. Major rest in peace. And you know he stayed in Florida for a minute. While in Florida, 
on probation, this 10-year probation where he's not supposed to leave the state of Georgia, and he's now in Florida, he's out hanging out at night drinking. Drink, drink, drinking. Pull up, drink, okay? And the police pull up, and what happens? Oh, he's caught, of course, being, you know, uh, public intoxication, which gets him in trouble, and they find out that he's on parole. I'm sorry, that he's on probation. He's not supposed to be in Florida. He gets hemmed up in Florida because, again, he wasn't supposed to be there, okay? Now, he admits that Missy knew I'm sorry, that he met Missy while he was in prison. Yes. Malcolm met Missy while he was in prison. How? How did he meet her in prison? Was she a CEO? Was she a visitor of somebody else and who he saw? No. He told them, I was able to get a cell phone in prison. And while in prison on my secret cell phone that also had internet service, I got this the, the Snapchat. Okay, this is you know, <laughs> this is around t- girl. I'm like foolishness. Uh, again, he got a cell phone in prison. He's on Snapchat in prison. Okay, on the Wi-Fi in prison. And he said I looked to find people who was around me, and she was one of the people, you know, in the area. And so I, I friended her on Snapchat. So while he said earlier that he met her on Snapchat, he did not say he met her online while in prison. So my thing is, oh, he started off lying, holding back truths, okay, keeping things a secret, okay? Anyway, he said that... uh uh, Missy had posted about like missing her mom, but the mom passed away. He then like sent her some encouraging words while he was in prison. Okay, she responded. Okay, and they started just talking again, trauma bonding over the loss of their parent. Okay, now <sighs> prisoner Malcolm, <laughs> who's around here on Snapchat having a consistent conversation with somebody outside of prison. Okay, I was like, Lord Jesus. Now he said he had to do two separate jail stints. He did six months in Florida. Okay, they then extradited him to Georgia where he did 10 more months in jail. So he was a total of 16 months. Okay, he says she knew he was in jail, she was okay with it. Okay, and then once he got out of prison. They were still back and forth talking or whatever. But he feel like sometimes she would talk to him, sometimes he she would not. And they like they just didn't meet up. <clears throat> they was not they were not talking on the phone, simply doing Snapchat conversation. That's it. Okay, for about two, two, three years. He said then she asked them, and we, we, and we said that she asked to borrow some money. He said no, nah, and she got upset. She asked to borrow a hundred and fifty dollars. I said, "That's real people money. One fifty isn't catfish money." I was like, "Something ain't right here. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm like, you up in this hotel room that you, that you stay in. And we we now find out you was in prison. You met her in prison on Snapchat with a secret illegal phone or whatever. And then when you got out of prison, you know she asked you to have one fifty, and you said no, and it made her upset." I was like, that's weird. Now, again, me and, and the wife, we're going to figure out what's going on between Missy and Malcolm. Now, we already know Malcolm is a liar because when Malcolm wrote me and whoever the co-host would be, he did not say at all, I met her in prison. I was in prison. Okay, and the reason I had to, I was between Georgia and Florida was because of my prison time. He also never told him, hey, I'm also kind of homeless. You know, I don't, my thing is this, if you don't have a house, and a, if you, I just feel like if you are still waiting to find somewhere to live, you should not be looking for a girlfriend. You don't have a place to stay that isn't a hotel room. And thank God he not on the streets. I get that. I'm not trying to knock him at the hotel. I'm just saying it seems like that man still trying to get his life together, okay? Yes, he worked at the gas station. I get that. But, however, the man lived at the hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. 
when, when she asked him, can, you know, because she brought out $150, he said, I, you know, I didn't have it to give to her because he's getting his life together. Sir, you should not be worried about no lady. Worry about getting your life in order. You can't afford to let to give somebody you like you care for a hundred and fifty dollar. Now we I don't think he has any children. Hell, he don't have no bills to pay. He's well, he's saving up for an apartment, but still. I'm like he omitted a whole prison stint from his introduction of being on the show. I was like. Let me see. Some is this gonna be a, a bunch of bullshit, bunch of bullshit. But Neve and his wife wants to figure out this dilemma. Okay, so <sighs> Neve and the lady go trying to figure things out, you know, and they're trying to figure out who's Missy, who is Missy, who could Missy be. Where could she be? Is she a real person? Is she a fake person? I don't know. Okay. Now, when, you know, they, you know, he sent her, I'm sorry, he sent them all the info he had on her. Okay. He like, I don't, you know, I, I don't have her IG. I don't have her social medias. All I have is, is a Snapchat, a phone number. And like, I think that was really it. Okay. And over the last two years, he's only gotten like two photos about her. I was like, not just two photos of a person. Girl, look, I take 18,755 photos a day. Okay? I am, look, when you like somebody, you send them photos of you because they like, they want to see you. And he seemed needy. He at girl, anyway. So, me and the wife was Mario looking out, looking, looking for, okay? So, um, he asked her, hey, send me some more photos of you, baby. Okay, I want to see you, girl. And so she sent him these photos. You see, look, look, text message or whatever. The top two is her. The bottom photo is not her. And so he said, who was the last pick? Dang, sent that by accident. That's my friend, Carol Lee. Isn't she cool? Isn't she cute? I mean, I guess to somebody else. I'm like, not to somebody else. I'm like, the, the shame. The shame. I said, oh, so we, did she accidentally send you who she really was? Is that what it is? Anyway, but as she said, no, that's my friend. That, that's my friend or whatever. So they look up some stuff or whatever. They can't find her IG. They can't find her Facebook. They can't find her, her Snapchat or whatever. They can't find her on anywhere. They they do look the little uh, reverse photo lookup. You know, they can't find shit. Now, at one point, they did a cash app lookup. And a photo, because the photos of Missy, nothing came back. When they searched for old girl photo, they found Kara Lee on Instagram, an old one though, because the girl looked younger. And then the Cash App, because I, I did not know, if you put a person's phone number in Cash App, if they have Cash App, <clears throat> it'll pop up. You can find, I said, I did not know that. I'm going to find everybody cash out. Anyway, but again, they just, again, what, nothing is missy. It's all going to the Kara Lee girl, who was the, the picture that she sent him by accident. Okay, by accident. And the cash app has Kara Lee, but has Missy Flowers. And it has the photo of Missy. So it's all weird. It's all, I'm like, okay, somebody don't know what they're doing. Somebody lying. Someone lying. And we don't know who. Okay. Anyway, but because the photos of Missy, nothing came up, but the photos of the friend, Kara Lee, her stuff did come up. So again, we know, okay, Kara Lee is Missy. Mrs. Kara Lee, okay? So they go and tell uh, Malcolm, hey, Malcolm, we figured it out. We figured out the riddle, okay? Of uh, love, money, and prison locker mystery. We found what happened. You know, we looked up Missy stuff, could not find nothing for Missy. Not no IG, not no Facebook, not no Snapchat, nothing. Everything is gone. It's as if she scrubbed herself from the internet, and we don't know what's going on. However, uh -huh, the friend Carolee, 
you know, we found stuff through her. Now, Malcolm, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know no Carolee. I don't, I don't know. I say, sir, you don't know Missy. You're talking about how you, I don't know no Carolee. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sir, you don't know Missy. You ain't met her yet. Missy is Carolee. They just saying, God damn person. Okay, anyway. So they decide, hey, we can't, you know, we, we feel like Missy and Carolee are the same person. Let's just text and say, hey, we, we catfishing. This is me. Let's meet up. So when Neve and them text the Missy number, she instantly responds, hey, I don't want y'all to come to my house. I'll meet with Neve, but not Malcolm. I can meet you today at my friend's house. I said, are they setting up? Is it an ambush? Is MTV going to get caught in some gangster shit? Because who says I'll meet up with Neve, but not the person I, I'm, I'm talking to, okay? And I don't want y'all at my house. Now, they agree. We'll meet you at, your, at the friend house. We won't bring Malcolm or whatever. It'll be me and my wife. That's it. They get to the house, and who opens the door? Carolee. Yep. Carolee opens the door. And she said, well, you know, because he's like, oh, you're Carolee. You're the one I've been texting. She's like, no. No. Malcolm has not been talking to me. It's not me. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's not me. And I'm like, what you what you mean it ain't you? Is your stuff on the thing thing? What, what, ain't no missy. Ain't no missy. But she said, look, I'm not missy. I'm not who y'all been talking to, okay? My friend missy, she was here. And then she left. She had to go like she didn't feel comfortable. I was like, you are a good liar. Because I'm like, bitch, you, was, you are Missy. You are the culprit. You hear me? But she said, no, it's not me. You know what I'm saying? She left thinking y'all was going to bring Malcolm and she was not ready to be on TV. I was like, but you are hair all done, contacts in your eyes, pretty hoop earrings. Mm -hmm. She was ready. Anyway, uh, she said, look, they're like, are you, are you Missy? She's like, no, I'm not Missy. No. Mm. Missy was here when Missy left. And me, I was like, I don't believe you. I think you're Missy. I said, I think you're Missy too. Okay. Anyway, they're like, look, tell Missy we here. We want to meet up with her tomorrow. We can have her. I'm not going to meet, you know, we want to do all the thing. Want to let Missy know, right? Okay, I'll tell Missy. I'll let her know. I was like, Girl, you Missy. Anyway, the following day, they get a text from Missy who said, hey, I'm ready to talk to Malcolm or whatever. Come on through to my friend house. Let it be. And when me talked to, because me was talking to Carolee. That was her name, or whatever. Talking to Carolee, okay. And she's saying, Yeah, Missy's here. She won't leave. She's gonna meet up with y'all or whatever. Come on through. And me said, Cool, can we bring anything? Like, we bring some, some cupcakes. You can bring some Hennessy. I mean, it's early, but you can bring some. I say, Not nah, she, girl, not nah, she. Girl, Carolee asked me to bring Hennessy on. Girl, I said, Ain't this my bitch. Now, they get to her house. To, the, to Carolee's house looking for Missy. The fact that me really brought her a bottle of Hennessy, I'm like, Nee, what's cool? Why the whole liquor get her drunk or whatever? And she's like, okay, so yeah, if y'all can go to the backyard, because it's not private up here, like go in the back, because it's a residential neighborhood. And again, you you don't want your neighbors, you know, because you know it's a whole camper crew. You know, so go in the back, so that way can't nobody be seeing what's going on if you're in the backyard, okay? And so they go in the backyard, and lo and fucking behold, bitch, I say, bitch, it's Missy. I said, you fooled me. You fool. I say, oh, my God. Missy is real. I was so shocked. Everybody was shocked because I thought the friend was Missy. But no, Missy is real and she's here. 
And, you know, it was like, oh, boy, hey, what's going on, okay? I said, bitch, I'm still shocked that Missy is here. I was like, he wasn't catfished? Okay, all right. Anyway, so they're like, with your cash app name, you know, I had your friend name on it. She's like, oh, no, we're, just, we're like best friends. And, you know, we use the same cash app or whatever. And because she uses it more than I do. Is under her name. I don't use it that much, but it's my picture because again, we both use. And I was like, well, that's weird, but whatever. Anyway, and so Malcolm, like, why did you, you know, why? Because again, again, Carly is not Missy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he like, yeah. So why you put me through all this? Or why you had me go through all this? You know, this was to be the person. And she said, oh, you gonna just act delusional in front of them? I said, oh shit. Oh, bitch. I said, what delusional? What happened? What happened? What happened? Not delusional. Okay. And he like, what What? What I do? What What did I do? I was like, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? So you not going to tell these people that you owe me money? You have over a year? I was like, he owe her money? Girl, you owe this lady money. And you brought her on here talking about she won't meet you. Negro, you owe her money. <laughs> and when she says, you're not going to tell them that you owe me money and you have for over a year, this fool said, well, I was I was going to give it back. I was like, <laughs> what? What is happening here? What? I, 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 what is going on? Okay. Leave like wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. He he mentioned that you asked for money. He did not tell us he owed you any money. This lady said I gave him five hundred dollars while he was in prison. I was like, literally, this is love after lockup, love during lockup. Because she was sending that man money while he was in prison. A man she met on Snapchat. A man she had not met in person. So y'all both is crazy? Girl, what the fuck? I gave him 500 while he was in prison. And he told me he was going to give it back. He was going to work to prove his love to me. And he was saying that he was going to marry me. He like, well, I, I, I planned on doing all of that. But each time I try to meet up with you, you kept playing me and not showing up or whatever. I was like, I'm stuck on, they met on Snapchat while he was in prison. She sent him $500 while he was locked up in prison. And she'd been waiting a year to get the 500 back. Who catfishing who? Who cat? This is my thing. Sir, you told us that she asked you for five, I mean, for $150. And you could not give it to her. You, and she was upset. You did not say it's because you owed her money. Sir, she can't be catfish when she sent you money. I said these. Negroes here, okay? So, again, as he said, I plan to pay you back. I plan to mute you. I plan to be, I plan to, so, so I, I love you, girl. I only want you, girl. Now, Neve, like, um, well, beside the money he owe you, <laughs> no, Neve, the money is the point. <laughs> Fuck everything else. The money is the point. But he said, you know, beside the money he owe you, but it's the part about y'all like liking each other and having a connected that part true, like this great bond. Well, I mean, at first, yeah, okay. But when I was looking towards the social media, whatever, I just noticed that he had a whole bunch of women and stuff on his stuff. I said, you were searching that girl. But again, she sent that man money. She sent that man, and she, she said 500 bucks is a lot of money for me. She's a single mom. As a single mom, you should not be sending no strange man 500 bucks while he's in prison. Okay. Um, she also said, I mean, he is fine. 
he is fine and handsome. Mm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, but she then said, I don't even share my lip gloss. And then she, you know, she said, I would share my lip gloss before I share my man. So me seeing, you know, all these women commenting and stuff on social media, I felt like he was a player player from the Himalaya. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, she then said, I only kept in contact with you to get my money back. That's and I need I need this money, mate. I'm in a bind, Nate. I need this money. And she he was like, You did all this <laughs> for five hundred dollars. Yes, I'm a single mom. Okay, that's a lot of money for me. I'm saying yes. And I will I will pop up and call and talk to you to see if you work and you got some money. And if you did not, I will pop up. But I said, girl, <laughs> she, girl, first of all, my rule is do not lend money you can't afford not to get back. Okay? Because if someone has to, just don't. If they can't afford, if you cannot afford to not get that back, don't lend it. Okay? Because anyone saying, I've been waiting for a whole year to get my 500 bucks back. And I've only been talking to you to get it back. I was like, ma'am, fuck him. Okay. I'm like, to me, this is two broke people trying to be in love, beefing over 500 bucks. Now, the thing is, she gave him money that he said, I'll get back. He had not given it back yet in the year. And I was like, girl, when as soon as he called me to meet up, yes, meet me here with my money. Meet me there with my money. At the end of the day, I want my money. Now, it's hot outside, so me and them going to the house. They all want a house. They're sitting, there, they're sitting there talking. Because again, Malcolm still wants Missy. You can tell Missy like him, but she wants her money. Okay? She wants her money. Now, he admitted that he did add other women on Snapchat because he was in prison. But he he only likes her. She is the best. She is different from all the other women. Okay, it's only her. I really like her. Now, I mean, he talked a good game, like he liked her, but whatever. You know, prison talk. So he like, excuse me, we we bonded. We bonded so much over this over texting and talking while I was in prison. Okay, and I can I can build up my trust with you. I can rebuild that because I love you, girl. Okay, and I will pay you your money. You love me? Yes. You love me for real? Yes. Prove it. But how you want me to prove it? What you want me to do? Suck my big so I said. When she said prove that you love me by sucking my big toe, and I hate when I put on this lip gloss and then it gets like white on my lips. Um, which I mean I can't wear this on camera no more. But <laughs> yeah, she said if you love me to prove it to me, I want you to suck my big toe. I said, but he don't know you. Like, how do we know you took a shower today? Y'all were just standing outside in the heat. And you have sneakers on. So I feel like if you have sneakers on, your feet is probably a little bit hot. Because outside in, 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 in the Georgia heat, you know, y'all y'all is hot. And he said, for real? She said, yes. And she pulled her shoe off, pulled her sock off, and put her foot up on the table. And he put her big toe in his mouth. You see this shit, y'all? I said, this man put her big toe. Now he, now, he didn't suck it. But the fact that her big toe was in his mouth. Disgusted me. And because I had to see it, so do y'all. You hear me? That man, she did say he looked like he sucked toes. He looked like he sucked everybody's toes. I was like, bitch, not you shame with that man for sucking toes. You asked him to suck your toes, and he did. He like, okay, I suck your toes. Like, can we, you know what I'm can we talk or whatever you know what I'm saying? I, I want my money first, and then we can see what happens from there, Okay. 
I said, do you know that man live in the hotel, motel holiday inn? I don't think you do. And the fact that he got all dressed up to meet up with her. Because earlier in the episodes or whatever, he was like, this is just around the house clothes or whatever. When he, I, the, the pants was supposedly ironed. He had some cologne on or whatever. He wanna look fancy. He didn't want to look like he lived at the hotel, motel holiday inn. Okay. I'm my like, girl bye. Anyway, so Neve and the wife left him alone to talk. Okay. Again, she like him. She finds him attractive. Okay, I know she's not smiling right here, but she was smiling in other in other scenes or whatever. And y'all see the lady was up here smiling at him sucking her toes. And they sitting there talking, okay, one on one. Girl, give me a hug. Uh, give me 250. I was like, <laughs> she was dead ass serious, girl. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she like him. She do, but she want her money, okay? Um, that's her main point. Anyway, they went outside, you know, to leave or whatever, and she did end up giving him a hug. She gave him a, a smooch kiss on the lips because she like him. She do. He like her. He do. So they did have a bond, but again, I'm like, girl, she want her money. She want her money, okay? And so, you know, that's how it ended with them, you know, a little smooch on the lips. A hug, okay, and whatever. Now we then see two months later, they check in on both of them. Okay, I feel like Malcolm still lives in a hotel, motel, holiday inn. Why do I think that? Because the lamps on that wall behind him, those are hotel, motel lamps. Okay, those are hotel, motel curtains. Don't ask me how I know I live the life back in my day. Okay, the point is, I'm like, sir, you two, two months later. You in a hotel, well, at least he's not homeless. And at least he can afford the hotel, the motel, and the holiday of the inn, okay? But again, he said he's paid her the $500, okay? They still figure things out. But he's still in the hotel, okay? Um, well, he said that, I said that. Uh, she said he's been trying to prove himself to me and how he's the one for me or whatever. He did pay me back. He did. And he's just trying to prove himself to me. I was like, it was really, really cute. You can tell again, they still like each other. But I'm like, ma'am, do you know he don't have, like, a home? And I don't know. <sighs> Hotel living might be amazing because it's always somebody else there to clean up your, your place, your, your room. Okay, if you're in a fancy hotel, you got room service or whatever, I'm not knocking him for living at a hotel, motel, holiday inn, but I'm just saying he's concerned with getting with uh, getting a girl. He don't have a house. He's living, he's paying, you're probably paying, well, if it's a motel, he may be paying less money in the motel because it's cheap, but he would be paying rent somewhere else. So I don't know. He could be being smart by living in a hotel, motel, holiday inn. Either way, if you still fixing yourself so you do not have time to date. And who knows? He couldn't because he gave her up. Because again, he he is a manager at a at a, a gas station. I don't I don't know how much gas station managers make. Or is it minimum wage? Is it, you know, salary? Is he making 80? I don't know. I don't know. And maybe he worked at a motel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he work at a, a gas station next to the motel, and that way he can walk to work. I don't know. I have no idea. What I do know is this is some crazy shit. That man did not tell us in the beginning that he was a former prisoner, mean fuck on Snapchat in prison on a prison stolen phone. He got money from her, did not pay her back for over a year, and then wanted to meet up with her as if everything was cool. But at least he wasn't catfished. I mean, she was who she said she was. She just also won her money and her toast up. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all. Do not forget to follow me on social media at Daily's Corner on IG, also on Twitter. To like the video, comment in the comment section. Excuse me. Subscribe to my channel to become home, J-Girl. Subscribe to my channel to become home, J-Bird, J-Bird. Okay, so yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. I have to go. I love you all. Don't get catfished.
don't do it. Okay. Now I'm thinking if y'all respond to this well, if y'all watch this, I'll review next week's episode two, which looks a bit cuckoo cuckoo. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you all. I gotta go. Bye.